Hello everyone and welcome to Pause for Parents Mindfulness Lesson 5. Today we're going to be talking about mindful eating. I'll just share my screen with you. Okay, mindful eating. So whenever you put the word mindfulness in front of something, it means you're paying attention on purpose in the present moment. So as you can see on the screen here, I've got an apple. So if you have an apple in the fridge, pause the video now, um, or it might be an orange or whatever piece of fruit you might have um, at home, go and grab something and come back and play again. Do I have an apple here with me? Just like the one on the screen. So if I was um, using it with um, the lessons with the kids, I would get them to use their five senses to take in information to their brain. So let's do that with the apple right now. So the first one would be to look at it with my eyes. So I'm just rotating the apple around and around and I'm taking in all the different colours and patterns that I can see on the apple. So you can do that with your piece of fruit now. The next one I would use my two fingers or my two hands and roll the apple around in my fingers and feel the different ridges and bumps Go up and feel the, the top part of the apple and down to the bottom. The third um, sense that I'm going to use is the listening sense. So I'm going to hold the apple to my ear. No, I can't hear anything today. The fourth one is my nose. I'm going to smell it. taking the information in. Now in class, I would only pass the apple, um, one apple around, so we're not going to eat it. Um, but if you would like, if you're a student now, you're more than welcome to take a bite and then chat about how that apple tastes. I'm just gonna put mine down and I'm gonna change the screen because I'm gonna read you a story now called No Ordinary Apple. Okay, here's our story. No ordinary apple. A story about eating mindfully. No ordinary apple. It was an ordinary day full of ordinary things. After school, Elliot went to his neighbour, Carmen's house. He always went there until his parents got home from work. Hi, Carmen. Hi, Elliot. How was school? It was okay. May I have a snack before I start my homework? Asked Elliot. Of course. Would you like an apple? An apple? Don't you have any candy? Sorry, I'm all out of candy, but try this apple. It's very special. What's so special about it? It looks like pretty ordinary to me. Oh, this is no ordinary apple, said Carmen. It might surprise you. Will it give me superpowers? Well, I don't know. Would you like to find out? She asked. How, said Elliot. Eat an apple like you have never tasted one before. Only then will you discover what makes it so special. But I've eaten about a million apples. How can I do that? Asked Elliot. First, first off, tell me this. What colour is the apple? It's red, said Elliot quickly. Is it? Look very carefully. Okay. 
Elliot rolled the apple around in his hands. He noticed that some, some parts were red, pure red, some were green and others were a little brown. There were even a few dull black speckles. Hmm, there are so many different colours here. I guess it isn't just red. Very good observation. And what does it feel like? Hmm, Elliot looked puzzled. Like an apple, he said. Carmen laughed. Slowly feel it with your fingers. What do you notice? It's a little cold. Some parts are smooth and others are bumpy. Some places are hard and some are a little soft. Neat! Elliot was about to take a bite when Carmen gently raised her hand to stop him. No, not yet. You haven't listened to it. Listen to an apple? How weird, thought Elliot. Feeling a little silly, he held it up to his ear, expecting to hear something. He heard nothing. Is that the only way to listen to an apple? asked Carmen. Elliot got an idea. He tossed the apple up into the air. As it landed in his hands, he heard a hollow thwap. Elliot smiled. He'd probably made that sound a million times before, but he'd never actually heard it. Now, do I take a bite? He asked, growing a little bit impatient. Not quite yet. What does it smell like? Elliot took a sniff. Hmm, fruity, I guess, and a little like flowers. And springtime. After another moment, he laughed. <laughs> it also feels cool and smooth against my nose. Carmen smiled. Can I take a bite now? Elliot could feel his tummy rumbling. Sure, said Carmen, but I wonder what else you might discover if you bite it very, very slowly. Elliot really wanted to figure out the secret of the apple. So he decided to try. He held it up to his lips. He noticed his mouth was already watering. He was pretty sure that this had never happened with an apple before. As his teeth sunk in, he heard a loud, crisp crunch. He noticed the sweet, appley juiciness in his mouth, the little juice drops tickling his chin. The peel felt a bit stringy and the flesh felt cool and a little spongy. Then came a burst of the familiar fresh appley smell. Notice what the apple tastes like in different parts of your mouth. You can do this if you chew it very slowly and roll it around. Oh, and try not to swallow yet. Do you think you can do that? Asked Carmen. Elliot nodded. First he chewed with his front teeth, then the teeth on one side, and then the other. Next, he rolled the chewed up apple all around his mouth. He even tried smooshing the apple against the top of his mouth with his tongue. He tasted it on the back of his tongue, the center, the front, one side, and then the other. He really wanted to swallow the whole time but was determined not to. He was going to discover the secret. Are you ready to swallow it now? Yes, please, said Elliot, through his apple-filled mouth. Go ahead 
and see what you feel as the apple travels to your belly. It may help if you close your eyes. Elliot closed his eyes and concentrated as he swallowed. He could feel the moistness of the apple as it went down his throat. His belly had stopped rumbling and even felt a little more full. Why, what did you notice? asked Carmen. You know, the apple did taste different at the front of my mouth than the back, said Elliot. In one part it was sweet, in another kind of tart, like two fruits in one. Even after all of this time, Elliot still wasn't sure what made this particular apple so special. Yes, it was more colorful, more, taste, more tasty, more fragrant, more noisy than any other apple he'd ever eaten. In fact, it was the most apple-y apple ever. But why? What did, what's the secret, Elliot asked. Why is this apple so super apple-y? What did you do to make it that way? Ah, said Carmen, it's not what I did that made it so special, it's what you did. Elliot looked proud. What I did? By slowing down when eating this apple and being curious about how it looks, feels, sounds, smells and tastes, you made it extraordinary. And you know what? You can do this with any food. Elliot thought about that for a moment. His eyes sparkled. Jelly beans? Sure. Ice cream? Absolutely. Even macaroni and cheese. Elliot couldn't imagine macaroni and cheese being even better. Yes, said Carmen, even macaroni and cheese. Wow! You know, Elliot, you can try this with foods that aren't your favorite too. Really? I don't know. Broccoli is pretty gross and peas I don't think I could ever eat peas so slowly. Well, it's worth a try. Maybe start with one little pea. You might be amazed at what you discover, just like with the apple. Elliot thought for a moment, then he slowly and mindfully ate the rest of the apple. He thought about all the foods he could eat this way. He couldn't wait to show his family and friends. Suddenly, a huge smile washed over his face. He remembered that today was Friday. And at that moment, he remembered it was pizza night. Have a look everyone. Can you see what his family are doing with the pizza? Using their five senses to mindfully eat it. Thank you for listening to this brilliant story, No Ordinary Apple. A story about eating mindfully. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Let me just share my screen with you again. So other activities that you can do at home, um, mindfully eating, is pulling up um, a memory or describing to your kids about um, remembering something like a birthday cake. Do they remember the smell of it? Do they remember... Um, you know, listening to it being made or cutting it, all of those sorts of things. It's a great way to show the kids how we pull our memories um, up from our hippocampus. Now, you may have already eaten the apple mindfully or the banana, whichever one you chose at the beginning of the video today. But another, um, you can choose any other food. Uh, often we use um, at school raisins. And we go through the five steps that I spoke about at the beginning of the video and that Elliot went through with Carmen in the story. Here they are out, um, laid out for you. So whatever you choose to eat mindfully, you can go through the five steps of looking at it with your eyes, smelling it with your nose, 
listening to it with your ears, feeling it with your fingers, and finally placing it in your mouth and tasting it on your tongue, rolling it to one side and then the other, and taking a slow bite and paying attention to what happens. And that way, your senses send all of that information to um, the brain. And whatever you're eating becomes spectacular. This is an example of eating a raisin. This is a YouTube clip that you can watch if your students are older with them. And it just gives them a little bit more information around how food and eating affects our brain. This is a colouring in that um, is attached to the resources that you can um, print off and do with your kids. And this is the activity that's in the work booklet if you um, choose to do that. Thanks very much for spending time with me today.